Muy buenos días amigos y suscriptores de YouTube Antes de comenzar dale like al video, deja un comentario Si quieres más contenido así para darle un poquito de variedad al canal Y es que le he estado dando mucho seguimiento a el huracán Milton Tuvimos el huracán Elena, fue desastroso y todo Pero ahora el huracán Milton viene con más fuerza a destruir la mitad de Florida Va a entrar por Tampa y yo he estado dándole seguimiento, así que quiero compartir un poco con ustedes y que ustedes me digan en los comentarios si seguimos hablando de esto o cambiamos el tema. Uh, escuchen. 103, to be exact. So if this does right, come Mira to la presión del huracán. This... 929 milibares y se reporta que va a llegar a 820. Este tweet me llamó mucho la atención, que tiene 32.2 Millones de vistas que dice 8 p.m. hora del este New York. Esto no es nada menos astronómicos. No tengo palabra para describir meteorológicamente el pequeño ojo de la tormenta y su intensidad. O sea, el ojo de la tormenta es de 3.8 millas con una presión de 897 milibares. Yo dije 850, pero 897 milibares con vientos máximos sostenidos, o sea, el promedio de los vientos es de 180 millas por hora y ráfagas de más de 200 millas por hora. Este es ahora el cuarto huracán más fuerte jamás registrado por presión en este lado del mundo. El ojo es bien pequeño, casi unas 3.8 millas de ancho. Este huracán se está acercando al límite matemático de lo que la atmósfera de la tierra sobre el agua del océano puede producir uno de los huracanes más grandes de la, de la historia si vamos a poner top 5 este será incluido en esta lista de los huracanes yo tengo aquí un video que quiero reaccionar aquí está a la hora que va a entrar dice que wednesday el miércoles a las 9 Va a estar entrando a el área de Tampa. Vamos a escuchar un poquito. Be bigger, wider, and more powerful, right? So the eye wall, right? It comes in, it regenerates itself, and so the wind field that we talk about these are all the winds around o sea que el... the system, and they become much wider and much stronger as well. So we're going to see a lot of damage with these winds. Too. Se va a hacer muchísimo más grande y vamos a ver mucho más daño. For the entire state, not just for here on the west coast. No Again, solamente en la parte oeste. This rain as well over towards the east coast too. Now, what we do know with a lot of these systems is ya, that we could have the potential for isolated tornadoes that I alluded to before in the impacts. Puede ser que tengamos tornados eh, que yo le apliqué antes. Vamos a ver este video de cómo la evacuación, señores, de esta zona de Tampas después de haber recibido el huracán Elena, Helín, ahora es tienen que evacuar nuevamente. Mira eso, mira, mira, lo, mira de este lado cómo se están yendo la gente. Exodus, frantic, the Éxodo masivo. Fearful flocking, the wise with them. No gas, no all gas, breaks. no gasolina. We have a very stressful, potentially dangerous situation unfolding here in the Tampa Bay area. This is St. Petersburg, and what you're looking at is just a little bit of a slice of the mass amount of people trying to. Tú estás viendo un poquito aquí de la cantidad, de la inmensa cantidad de gente que se está yendo de Tampa. Evacuate out of the Tampa Bay area, all de la, of the del área de Tampa. Roads, the Mira interstates, eso. the main highways. Out of Tampa Bay are jam packed as people are fleeing. They're trying to wow. escape the path of Hurricane Milton. And what they're coming across are gas stations like this. O sea, no hay gas. ¿Tú te imaginas? No hay gasolina. Evacuación mandatoria. Zona A, B y C. Tener que dejar tu casa y todo lo tuyo detrás. They do not have gas left. And so these pumps have all been wrapped with... No tienen gasolina. Y mira cómo tienen... Ran wrap. What that does, it helps protect the screens, the electronics from hurricane force driven rain. Para proteger. Also, the nozzles zip tied to the machine so they don't flop around in the winds as well. But these are wrapped a day and a half before likely any impacts from hurricane Un Milton. Un día y medio antes de que el huracán llegue. Petersburg because the folks here at the gas station say that they don't expect any more gas being delivered here ahead. Ya no le van a traer I'll más. leave at 2.30 in the morning. I'll leave at 2.33 in the morning. Because all this will kind of die down, but we don't o sea, have... Ya no, le van a, ya no le van a seguir llevando gas. Él dice que él se va a las 2 y media de la mañana porque va a haber menos gente. So every time I come down here, they already kind of know because we do so much cat work. 
I normally travel with at least 20 gallons. I brought this from Atlanta. I didn't just try to hoard gas. So we always come down with at least enough diesel to get back home or at least to get back over the line, no matter where it is. Among the masses moving out, the contractors who rushed in to help rebuild after Hurricane Helene. Oye, the después del huracán Helena, hay todavía contratadores tratando de recuperar y arreglar todo. Them, so you know, it's really organized. Are packing up too. When they return. O sea, lo, los que vinieron a ayudar se están yendo. They'll face an even bigger mess. Go ahead and evacuate to something higher above sea level. It's the best thing that wow. you can do right now. Same nightmare, near Mira storm. Eso. Milton's bearing down, forcing millions to ask themselves. The ultimate question, stay or go? It's not as obvious. Salmo, salmo. Un salmo Milton's de la Biblia. Down, forcing millions to ask themselves. The ultimate question, stay or go? P. Psalms 46.1. Es un salmo de la Biblia que pusieron ahí. Dios es nuestro refugio y fortaleza, nuestro pronto auxilio en las tribulaciones. Go. It's not as obvious as you might expect. No, I... Mira este señor que tengo un bote. Él dice, yo prefiero estar con mi bote aquí tranquilo que no estar con mi bote. Si yo no estoy aquí, no sé. Si yo me voy y dejo mi bote aquí, yo no sé lo que le va a pasar y esto es todo lo que yo tengo. Si el bote se jode, si el bote se jode, yo voy a poder nadar, pero yo no me voy a ir. Pero ¿por qué no se va en el bote? Bueno, por la gasolina. Oh my God, él va a tener... I mean, I, I can't afford to give it up. Uh, Social Security cut my Social Security check off in June. Yo no, no puedo to... soltar mi bote. Social Security ya no me está ayudando. Sí, well, I don't know what that means. Um, so they cut my check off. Now o sea, I have no way. se va a quedar ahí a sobrevivir la marea del bote. So if I lose this boat, then I'm back on the street again, and I'm not going to sí. do that. Si yo pierdo este bote, voy a estar en la calle otra vez y no voy a hacer eso. Used to a bandit ship during Hurricane Helene. How high did the water get during Helene? It got to about an inch below. El tubo ahí durante el huracán Helene y él no se fue. The top of the pillar, or the pylon right there. Un metro, o sea, llegó hasta aquí el agua, hasta aquí. I slept through it. He's even become a local social media celebrity with people coming to check in on him. A strange kind of fame, but people do care. Are you concerned for Jay? I mean, yeah, I, I come and check on him every day and brought him a bunch of clothes and food and stuff, water. But... El tipo se ha convertido en una celebridad porque él no se va a marchar. Aquí están la gente buscando bolsas de arena para proteger su casa. So you have CP police on San La gente Patrol buscando light. arena para proteger su casa. ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? La gente marchándose. Bro. Mexico. Cars from Mexico. <laughs> And for the first time, I'm left to wonder, what will my wife come home to? What will I come home to? It's kind of crazy. I've never seen my neighbor Dave boarding up his house and tying down his trees before, but Hurricane Milton serious. Uh, if you look on an evacuation map in Pinellas County and St. Petersburg, there's two islands in a worst case scenario the storm surge could create. And this neighborhood. Si tú ves, si, oye, le llegó una alarma, él hablando ahí. Toda esta es la zona que él se tiene, que se tienen que ir. Tienen que evacuar toda esta zona. Is on one of those islands. Y en, la, en las, y, y, estas islas, todas estas islas, fíjate, todas estas son islas. Todo eso se va a inundar. Y entonces él dice, y mi, y mi vecindario, mi casa está en una de estas islas. So that's why we're actually not in one of those mandatory evacuation zones that they talk about, but there's a high likelihood that storm surge could cut this area off from the rest of Florida. So yes. I mean, I sent my wife out of town with all the important documents and uh, hard drives. Yo mandé a mi esposa fuera de la ciudad con todos los documentos importantes, todos los hard drives. And then I had to go through my house and uh, documents everything, every item, just in case I do have to make an insurance claim. And that's all you can do. Documentar have... todo. Él tiene que ir en su casa y documentar todo para, para pedírselo al insurance. Have to wait a la, to see where the storm goes, there's the potential this could be the most catastrophic hurricane to ever hit our home. Es un potencial que este puede ser el huracán más catastrófico que, que golpea esta área. Here in Tampa Bay. And so I just hope that we all remember Items and things aren't important. People are, and so please, if you yo, can, and you are here. Yo espero que nosotros recordemos que los las cosas no son importantes, sino la gente. Eh, la gente son importantes, señores. Tracking down Milton. Vamos a seguir viendo un poquito aquí para irnos ya. Hay miedo, señores. Hay mucho miedo. So Mira todo eso, todo eso rojo. Es todo lo que se va a inundar. 
you. I know people that live in Davis Islands. This is our home, our friends, our family, our churches, everything that we know and love. I want you guys to stay safe. So look at this. If you've been a little nervous si about evacuating, thinking about it, your evacuar, si going up, you still have time to get out. Look at how much irte. we could see in terms of water. Up to 12 feet. 12 pies de agua. Over here by this area, you can see the McDill Air Force Base. Up to 12 feet of water could be there. And that's including pie de agua, Davis Islands and that red shading too, along with Progress Village there, Gibsonton. It va a entrar jueves, uh, eh, eh, miércoles a las 8 p.m. va a entrar el huracán a la, a la zona de Tampa. Y, a las, y el jueves a las 8 de la mañana va a estar en el mismo centro. Y el jueves a las 8 de la noche ya va a estar saliendo. Mira las, los vientos. Va a bajar de categoría mientras se vaya acercando, pero va a traer mucha agua. Adamsville, right there, right along the water. Those are the areas problema. that are really at risk in terms of storm surge. And over towards Pinellas County, the Gandhi, where our station is, we are going to be evacuating because vamos a tener que we could be seeing up to 12 feet of water. That could even put our station agua. underwater, realistically. Va bajo el agua, so we're taking verdad. this seriously just as much as you need to at this time. Now we see Boca Ciega, not a place you want to be. Tierra, Boca Ciega, a, a Tierra, Tierra Verde. Verde. We really want to move you out today. Necesita you need to, need to evacuate if you're in any of these areas. 12 si feet. En I don't area, think you guys understand how high that is. That can yo no sé si ustedes entienden qué tan alto es eso. O sea, yo mido 6.3. Imagínate eso. Dos veces. Wow. Yo mido, do, yo mido seis pies, es dos veces mi tamaño. Pick up a grand piano and slam it into a wall. That water is not going to come in gently either. Esa it agua no va a venir de manera in. gentil, va a venir to your home and completely take va it out. And that todo. would be leveling down that Dios home mío. or that property down to the foundation. I've seen it before with Hurricane Ian. Yo lo vi anteriormente con el huracán Ian, así que este peor. Another area that we want you to evacuate because you could be seeing up to again 12 feet. Otra area que queremos que se vayan. Que, que necesite we evacuar. See all that flooding possible along wow. with portions of e evacuation. Déjame buscar más video de eh, evacuation en el huracán El Ojo. See it here. Now it's in Eastern Hillsborough County. So here's Tampa. Is that, is that be slightly better, I guess, if it was happening in the daytime? Ah, gente, that, that doesn't look like the case right now. La presión es de 929 milibares, pero según este tweet va a bajar a cuando entre va a bajar a 897 milibares. Okay, it's done an incredible job with Milton, um, and so that, that's what we're going to be looking at today. Latest one that's come out here, the 6Z model, shows this thing uh, continuing to uh, gain strength throughout the day today. It does a really good job of showing the wobbles and the, um, Está the kind of disorganization um, as we go through the process of uh, transferring between uh, you know, a very organized category five storm to Oye, a, an eyewall replacement cycle disruption. Speeds uh, all the way up there, uh, back up to, to like 140 miles per hour uh, as we get into the early morning hours tomorrow. And I, I don't want to focus too much on the exact, you know, the numbers, right? Like what, what what's no the me strongest wind gusts going to be at this time? La, I don't want to focus too much on that. Los más I to really Yo me quiero uh, enfocar. Uh, Kind of visualize and Yo quiero visualizar y mostrarte right? so lo grande que es. The, this is a tiny little hurricane where the winds were in this little area right here. Watch what happens as after the eyewall Era, era cycle, pequeño el huracán. Watch what happens. Pero mira lo que sucedió. Mira cómo se pone más grande. Explotó en, en medida. Cinco veces más grande que, un, que el huracán que era anteriormente. So, ahora no está tan poderoso, pero está muy grande. Get up as high as we saw earlier or, or yesterday. Um, the overall impact of the storm is going to be much greater because we're going to have 60, 70 mile per hour winds well over 100 miles away from the center of the storm. O sea, vamos a tener... miles away. We're going to have hurricane force winds uh, also well outside of the center of the storm. And as vamos that wind field gets larger, vientos de 65 right millas por hora. Fuera del huracán. Kind of Cerca del huracán vamos a tener vientos de 100 millas por hora. 
¿Qué tú crees que va a pasar? Yeah, ok. The, the storm, the winds might go down a couple miles per hour. La, la, now, los vientos pueden ser que se reduzcan, pero ahora va, va a afectar un área más grande. No, it's going to get larger because now we have more winds. ¿Qué tú crees que va a suceder? Se va a poner, va a desaparecer. No, 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 se va a poner muchísimo más grande porque tenemos más vientos. Of water happening here. And then that's going to follow. Se está diciendo que el huracán lo que se está poniendo más débil, ¿verdad? En en presión, pero más grande. Va a cubrir una área aún más grande y eso lo que va a traer es muchísima, muchísima agua y va a afectar hasta mañana. And places like that down towards Venice, uh, all of that water Toda esa is going to be on the south side. Watch, va a estar en la parte imagine, sur. if you will, a bunch of storm surge here. What happens as we push it forward, it ends up right here. So that's where Toda I think the, agua, if this is the path that the storm takes, and this is just one model. That's where Solamente I think the un modelo, pero ese es el camino que va a tomar el, storm goes even la tormenta. If the storm goes slightly farther south than that, Tampa is going to dodge a huge bullet. If, if, if you are south of the storm at all in Tampa, the storm surge implications are going to be significantly less. Si tú estás en el sur de la tormenta, va a ser más, right más, so, menos. It's, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. We need to assume that it's going to go just to the north of Tampa. Sí. But if it goes south of Tampa, that, that's going to be good. Uh, we're going to be rooting for that. And it's going to be a nail biter tomorrow as we watch si land. Si se va por debajo, si se va por la right parte exactly del sur, eso es... Tampa va a doguear la tormenta, se va a salvar. Mi gente, hasta aquí. A mí me gustaría saber si usted quiere que yo le continúe dando seguimiento a esta tormenta. Díganme en los comentarios y nos vemos en la próxima.